what's up guys, it's Zmangaka89 and I'm back with another video. So basically I decided to do this thing called Zmangaka89 Week and this will be the first video. But basically I'll be posting a new video every day for this week and that's basically it. Nothing too exciting, but hey. So let's get on with this TOM video, Tutorials on Manga. Creativity is and always will be a huge part of manga. You need creativity to make up your story, you need creativity to make up your characters, make them interesting, get their personalities and such. But you also need to get creative with their designs. Stuff like what kind of clothes they're going to wear, what kind of accessories they're going to wear, what kind of weapons they'll have on their body, if any, what kind of hair they'll have. And that's actually what we're focusing on today. And you're probably thinking, oh, just hair? I could probably come up with hair any single time I want. But if you pay attention to different mangas throughout the decades, you'll find that many different characters, and even some iconic characters like Goku and Yu-Gi-Oh, they have some pretty insane and physically impossible hair. And if you saw someone on the street with that kind of hair, you'd be like, what the hell? But somehow, in manga, they make it not look weird and they also make it work. So today, we're gonna test your creativity and actually use inspiration to create some hairstyles for manga characters. Now what I like to do is I like to maybe go on Google Images and maybe search up different hairstyles I can find of just random people. Like, I just search up hairstyles and tons of different results will pop up. What I like doing the most, though, is actually taking some hairstyles from people that I, that I know and incorporating them into my own style when drawing. So I remember a few times I modeled some characters' hairstyles after uh, Darren Gray singer Kyo, who has like a new hairstyle every three months. So what I did is like I took inspiration from what he looked like and just manga-fied it, you know? Now any of you guys who listen to Japanese music do that, you'll know that the visual K scene is chock full of crazy and ridiculous looking hairstyles. Like seriously, some are just so cringeworthy and just downright terrible. Oh my god, what the hell. But yeah, visual K artists tend to have some pretty, some pretty interesting and unique hair. So, what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to create three different hairstyles on three different characters that I'm just going to come up with right now. They're drawing inspiration from pictures of Visual K artists that I find online. So I don't know what bands I'm going to pull from right now, but I'll figure it out later. And you can do this with like any person, or even other manga books. You could, as long as you don't copy anything, you can take inspiration and just turn it into your own. That's completely fine. In fact, I do that quite a bit. So the point of this exercise is just to find a picture, draw inspiration from it, and turn it into your own kind of thing, which is what I'm going to be doing right now. So let's do it. Alright, so here I have a picture of Satoshi from Girugamesh, and uh, I really like how he has the black and blonde thing going on with his bangs, so I'm going to model this character after something like that. I'm going to have the black and blonde theme going, and uh, I'm just going to draw and see where that takes me. Um, so let's do it. Now here's a hairstyle from Kyo that I happen to like very much. And the reason for that is that I've created a character, oh, like a year ago, with a very similar hairstyle, with a very short cut on the side and then just hair on the top going over. Uh, so, yeah, judging from the picture, you, you'll see what I mean, but um, let me model something after this picture, so... Alright, so I'm done with this guy. Essentially the same hairstyle, gave him a little go-to and a mullet in the back. So basically he has the, the hair on the front, it's blonde, it's white, or whatever, and the shaved part is all dark. Um, he has a blonde mullet going on. I think it's pretty cool, I think it's pretty sod. He could go for like a badass, like biker-like character, I don't know. I kind of just made him up on the spot, but you see what I did here? Just took inspiration. Alright, so now for my last character, I'm gonna draw a hairstyle that I like from Ruki, the singer of the Gazette, 
and um, it's kind of long and somewhat curly in the front, just a really fluffy hairstyle in general. So I'm kind of just going to take that, that long like down to the shoulders and like curly aspect of it and just turn it into something on the spot. So here I go. So with the first one, we took inspiration from Satsuki's hairstyle with the black and blonde thing going on. Second one, we kind of just took inspiration from Kyo's hairstyle and made a pretty badass looking dude out of it. And with the third guy, we took inspiration from Ruki's hairstyle and just made something out of that. So basically, I hope you took something out of this exercise. You can find creativity and inspiration everywhere. So I hope that when you're having artist block with like creating characters or something, just look around you, look at pictures, look at people, and just try to create something from that. Like I said, inspiration is all around you, and I hope this exercise was helpful and showed you that you can just create stuff on the spot, just by looking at other things. So, yeah, this is the first video, um, and tune in for another video tomorrow. This is ZmangaK89, and I'm out. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, favorite, comment, and don't forget to most importantly subscribe, it'll help me out a lot. And that's it. Until tomorrow, guys. See ya.